welcome back. How's it going? For those of you who don't remember, my name is Coach Henry. What's my name? That's right, Coach Henry. And welcome to our Playworks Recess. I need you to give me a round of applause. Excellent. So, as I mentioned two hours ago, at this portion, we're going to play a game. So I need everyone to say, new game alert. What's that? That's right, new game alert. I'm going to teach you a new game. But before we do that, I want to talk about something. I want to talk about motivation. Can anyone tell me what motivation means? Okay. Okay. Yeah, you got it. Exactly. And for those of you who didn't hear our friends, motivation is the courage or the energy or the commitment to do something, especially something that you might not want to do or something that you might not want to try again. So today, we're really going to try to incorporate motivation in our game. Thumbs up if you understand. Excellent. Thank you so much. Now, if you remember anything about me, I love bringing people into our games. So once again, similar to last time, I'm going to ask you to find somebody in your home who can come play with us. I'll give you seven seconds. And for those of you who don't have anybody to call, I'll have you help me count. All right? So we're going to count backwards from seven. And if you remember, the word of the day today is what? That's right. It's apple. So when I say apple, we are going to begin the countdown, and friends will have seven seconds to find somebody to come play with us. Ready? Set, Apple. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. If you have your person, if you have your partner, if you have your friend, if you have your brother, your sister, anybody in the home, mom, dad, welcome. My name is Coach Henry, and we're getting ready to play. So thumbs up and an air five. Excellent. So, before we start any game, as I mentioned, the three things that you need to know about me are one, we always play hard. Number two, we respect the game. And number three, we have fun. What's number three? Have fun. Excellent. So the game that we're going to play today is called Rochambeau Party. Yup. Rochambeau Party. Party. The way that Rochambeau works is very similar to a game that you may be familiar with called Rocks, Paper, Scissor. If you're familiar with Rocks, Paper, Scissor, I need you to give me a thumbs up and say, I know that game. Great. But if you don't know that game, I'm going to teach you. So for some of us who know Rocks, Paper, Scissor, you know that we put our table out and we have another hand that we're going to use to play with. In this game, you have Three items. How many items? Three. Excellent. Three items. You have a rock. Show me your rock. Excellent, 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 excellent. Show me your paper. Your paper is going to be flat, right? Hold your hand out flat. And show me scissor. Scissor is only, you're going to have the peace sign, but now you turn it to the side and it's a scissor. Excellent. So if you recall, we have rock, which is a closed fist, we have paper, which is our hand flat, and we have scissor, which is the peace sign, but sideways. And when we play Rochambeau Party, we throw everything out on our table. I need you to point to your table. I'm going to point to my table. Point to my table, and I'll point at yours. Excellent. So everything happens on our own table. When we say Rochambeau, we're going to pick one of those items and we're going to put it out on the word bow. So I need everybody to repeat with me. Rochambeau. 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 If you notice, we always say the words Rochambeau. Now, we're going to put select one of our items on the word bow. Ready? Rochambeau, Rochambeau, Rochambeau. 
Excellent. If you got that so far, give me two thumbs up. Not bad, not bad. It looks like everyone has it. Great. Now, when we compete against the person, the way that we're going to play is we throw out our item on bow, and in this game, the rock is successful against the scissor. The rock is successful against the scissor. It dulls the scissor. But if you throw out scissor, scissor cuts the paper. But the good thing about paper is that paper covers rock. So once again, rock dulls scissors, scissors cuts paper, and paper covers rock. Excellent. So once again, our hands are out. We're going to throw out one of our tools on bow. Ready? Row, sham, bow. Row, sham, bow. Row, sham, bow. Now, I want you to play against me. So this is going to be our demo round, and we're going to see if we understand the game. Ready? Demo round. Row, sham, bow. So if you threw out paper, I was successful against you because I cut your paper. But if you threw out rock, you were successful against me because you were able to dull my scissors. Does that make sense? Okay. Some of you, yeah? So, some of you are still learning? It's okay. If you're still learning, we're going to try it anyways, and we'll see if we can make it work. Ready? Here we go. Row, sham, bow. If you threw out paper, you were successful against me. If you threw out scissor, I was successful against you. But we'll try it one more time. Ready? Row, sham, bow. Oh, I see a couple of you, I, I see a couple of rocks out there. My paper was successful against your rock. And if you had scissor, yep, like you over there who has a scissor, your scissor was successful against my paper. So does everyone understand so far? And the game is called Rochambeau Party. But the reason why the game is called Rochambeau Party is because everybody in Playworks land is going to be competing against me. Yup. You all are going to be competing against me. And this is how it's going to work. If you are successful against me, I'm going to do five jumping jacks. But if I am successful against you, you are going to do five jumping jacks. And for those of you who need to remember what jumping jacks look like, it looks just like this. We did this during our warm-ups. Feet start out together, and we go one, two, three, four, five. And if you can't do the jumping jacks, then throw your hands up. And you'll do your jumping jacks just like this. Four, five. Excellent. So let's give it a shot. So once again, if I'm successful against you, you're going to do five jumping jacks. If you're successful against me, I'm going to do five jumping jacks. Ready? Let's begin. <sighs> Ready? Row, sham, bow. Oh, I see a couple people have paper. Your paper was successful against me. So I'm going to do five jumping jacks. But I also see that some people had scissor, and I was successful against you. So you're going to do five jumping jacks. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five. Woo! All right, here we go. Next round. Are you ready? Let's go. Row, sham, bow. I threw out scissor. So, yep, I see a rock over there. I see a rock over there. So you were successful against me. But I, is that, I see a paper over there. I see a paper over there. So I was successful against you. So looks like we're going to do some jumping jacks. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. All right, we're going to do three more rounds. Ready? Row, sham, bow. Looks like I covered a couple rocks, but I do see a scissor over there. So I'm going to do five jumping jacks again. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Woo! Here we go. Two more rounds. Row, sham, bow. So I see a couple pieces of paper out there, but I do see a couple rocks. So I'm going to do my five jumping jacks again. 
Ready? One, two, three, four, five. All right, last round, last round. Make it count, make it count. Here we go. Row, sham, bow. All right, so if you threw out a rock, I'm covering your rock, I'm covering your rock, but I do see some scissors and you're cutting my paper, so five more jumping jacks. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Woo, this has been a long game so far. Now, you know what? The thing about Rochambeau Party and Rochambeau in general is that when I'm unsuccessful, sometimes I lose the motivation to want to keep playing. And sometimes I feel like I'll never get a chance to be successful. But we don't have to worry about that because when we're motivated, we acknowledge all the other opportunities we have to be successful. So what I say to you is stay motivated, whether that's in the recess space, whether that's in the classroom and you don't understand the problem, whether that's at home, whenever we feel like we're losing motivation, figure out within yourself, what's gonna help me accomplish the things that I wanna accomplish because I never know what I'll learn. So we'll do one more round and then we'll get ready to sign off. So take a step back. This is gonna be the bonus round. Woo! Bonus round, get ready. All right, here we go. Row, sham, bow. So if you threw out paper, you were successful against me. But if you threw out scissor, I was successful against you. So gotta do these five jumping jacks. Here we go. One, two, three, Four, five, excellent. Well, you know what? I'm pretty worked up, but I think that in two hours, we're gonna have a really cool cool down. And I'm also gonna teach you a new way to play Rochambeau, a way that you can play without needing anyone else, a way that you can play by yourself. But we're also looking for other opportunities to play against other people. So if you had somebody with you today, feel free to keep playing Rochambeau. But if you didn't, stay tuned for two hours or in two hours and I'll teach you how, a new style for how to play Rochambeau. I look forward to seeing you all in two hours. Air five. See you later.